Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sparkplug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this component by looking at the 2D drawing of it. Uh, this is going to be our re exercise video number six. You can can find the link uh, to download this file in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. Also, let's get started without any time. So we what we have here, we have a front view and a bottom, or you can call it a top view as well. So and here are two isometric views just to make you guys understand how our component will look like after the total completion of the drawing. So what we are first going to make this, we are going to make the front view on the front plane. We are going to sketch the front view on the front plane, and then we are going to make some extrude extrusion and then on the bottom of the or the top plane we are going to make this top profile and then we are going to extrude cut to get the final component and one thing the radius as shown in guru color in the isometric view is not being shown in the front or the top view to avoid any unnecessary edges so we are going to uh, provide this radius manually at the end once our 3d is completed so we will start by making the front view as you guys can see it consists of two circles with a central dia uh, center distance cd of 100 mm and the dia internal and external dia are 50 and 36 and here radius is 6 and 12 respectively so just to go to uh, select sketch and the front plane and we what we will do from origin draw a construction line switch on the construction mode and a construction line like this and just switch it back off press c for circle and draw four circle like i am doing here give the dimension the outer radius was 24 and the inner the inner was 12 similarly here the outer diameter was 50 And uh, the inner was 36 and the outer was 50. As you guys can see, the outer dia is 50 and the inner is 36. The outer radius is 12. So the dia is 24 and the inner dia is 12. And the CD is 100 mm. So press D for dimension. Select these two points and give it a dimension of 100 mm. And press OK. Now once done, just let me just slide it to this side. You guys can anytime switch uh, of the dimension if they are too much and are restricting your view. So next step, we are going to make these two tangent line to join this circle. So press L for line anywhere on the circle and draw this line and again go to constraint go to tangent constraint select on these two make the tangent relationship repeat the step here go to mirror select this line and the mirror line would be the construction line we have drawn earlier and press ok press t for trim and draw and delete these axis line like i have here so now what we are going to do is we are going to make this inner profile so as you guys can see this arc we don't have any dimension for this arc but we have a distance from the outer inner circle is 8. So what we are going to do we are going to find the radius of this inner circle. So dia is 36 the red means the radius is 18 mm. So from this center to the outer edge this is 18. 18 plus 8 is 26 that means the radius of this arc is 26. So press C. And from this circle, draw any circle. Press D for dimension. Select this. And to give it radius, right click and select radius. And radius is 26. And press T. Delete the outer portion. Now, we are going to make this line. And this line, as you guys can see, this line is offset from the outer portion by 8 mm. So, press offset. You guys can find the offset in the modify menu select this line and don't forget to, uh, to uncheck the chain selection because we are only going to offset this particular line and off position would be 8 mm again mirror this line uh, with respect to the center line and press ok now press trim to delete these excess line yeah like like here and press now we are going to 
give this uh, radius uh, of 5 so fillet just undo and click on fillet 5 radius and repeat this step for here as well and press ok now what we are going to do is we are going to make the inner portion also so we don't uh, have the radius of this circle so we have the the distance from the inner circle as 8 so for that draw a circle of any dimension like I am doing here and press L from this point draw a vertical line and from this point draw a vertical line and press D and give it a dimension of 8 mm now press C for circle and draw a circle till it gets tangent to this line and press ok now you, you can just delete the inner circle these two vertical lines and press T for trim and delete these lines now we have here our dimension is completed so once completed just click on finish the sketch and go to isometric view now what we are going to do is we are going to extrude it and the extrude, extrude distance can be calculated from the thickness of this component as you can see the maximum thickness from the front and top view is 60 mm so we are going to extrude it symmetrically the 30 30 mm each so that our mid planes remains in the mid portion of the component so extrude distance would be 60 click on extrude select this line the direction would be symmetric and you can just select the measurement as whole length and the distance would be 60 and new component press ok now again bring back the sketch so what we are going to do we are going to work on top plane but if if i work on this plane then i will not be able to select our line cause uh, our body will be intersecting with the sketch plane so what we are going to do is we are going to offset this plane so that it gets above our solid body and press ok now again go to create a sketch click on this plane this will work as a top plane and press L for line and from origin draw a construction line like I am doing here now we are going to make this Y profile we are only going to make the upper one then we are going to mirror it according to the uh, construction line we have just created so uh, we have one line two line and three line and then we have an offset profile of 8 mm the radius would be will will give that in the later part of the video so for now press L and draw just switch back the construction mode and draw line like this now press T this is going to be 0 mm now so just make this line coincident to this point or you guys can equal or you guys can see the dimension from the this point is given the 23 or you guys can just put it coincidence so the first line that the thickness at this point is 14 so 14 divided by 2 is 7 so that means the distance from this line to this line is 7 mm and press ok and now as you guys can see now uh, the distance the distance from the center of this circle to the first uh, the first turning the first turning point is 35 and the second turning point is 75 so just press d and the center was we we have created uh, our circle from the origin so this point and this point is 35 and this point and this point is 75 like this now what we are going to do is we are going to make this point equal to this point so for that just press D and and give it a dimension of 25 
why I gave 25 is that if you look just closely that this is actually the center of the outer circle. So the radius of the outer circle was 25. So that the radius is that means the radius is 25. So the outer was dia was 50. The radius was 25. Radius 25. So from this point to this point, the radius is the distance is 25. That means I took that why I took the dimension as ah uh, 25. now similarly repeat the step for this point also this point so this time the outer radius is 12 so from the center line i think this one is the center line no this is not the center line you guys uh, if you if you are not able to uh, uh, swipe the center point what 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 you have to do is just click on p for project you guys can find that Uh, option like here and go just move it slightly and just click on this circle and press okay so what it will do it will just project this circle on your working plane again go to look at normal to now on we are we, we have the uh, line representing the dia of a circle now again press l and from the midpoint of this projected line the this triangle represent that you are on a midpoint of this line draw a line a vertical line uh, let's just make it construction now this is the center of the this circle so from this circle press t this point and make it 12 as you guys can see it's now perfectly coincidence to the last part so now we are going to make the the make this profile so this is 8 mm and is get x offset by an 8 mm throughout the profile so what we are going to do is we are going to press l go downwards press 8 and press enter the switch of the construction line let me just switch of the construction line now it's a regular one and press l and just go like this and join here now what you have to do is we need to make the these two line parallel so go to constraint click on parallel uh parallel constraint select this line and this line make this parallel make them parallel and press d for dimension give it a dimension of 8 similarly uh, we all we already have the eight uh, uh, dimension here also so now the only thing left is to mirror this profile again go to mirror command let me just press l and join this line also now go to mirror select the all the line that is needed to be mirrored select this line this one this one this one this one and this and the mirror line would be this and press okay now we have a closed sketch now only thing left is to provide these radius So radius, as you guys can see, the outer radius is 20, and the inner one is 10. Similarly, the 20 is here. So for that, just go to fill it. Give it a radius of 20. Repeat the step for here as well. This is also 20. this is also 20 and the inner would be will be 10 and this side also it will be 10 and again for the last time select this line and this line and the radius 10 and press okay so just cross check all the line that you have given the proper radius 20 20 10 and 10 uh 
just look at one me now if my, uh, this this gray area represent that my, my body is closed click on finish sketch so this is how it will look like so what we are going to just go back to the sketch by right clicking and edit the sketch press two point rectangle and draw rectangle uh, from the outer and press finish sketch now what we are going to do is we are going to extrude and the outer portion not the inner one and we are going to just extrude cut it and press ok Ta -da! now uh, we have our body nearly 99% completed cut so only thing is left is to make the radius r2 so for that just go to press f for fillet select this edge this one select all the edges that are visible to you and press 2 and ok now we have given the radius press shift n to switch the color toggle you don't want it or you can just press a for appearance and give any appearance that you want your part to be so let me just go to metal aluminium and okay if i just select the radius paint So this is how uh, our component would look like after completion. After completion. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Okay, one edge got left. So again, just select this. Let me just select the fillet. This edge and this edge. Press two and press okay. Now, yeah, completed. So, hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos. And don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.